you can see in the background is a microscope uh, donated by the Shriners Hospital of Cincinnati. Uh, this is a big deal. Um, it took us almost one year to bring the microscope to Sudan. Uh, there was a lot of obstacles we had to overcome. Um, last week I started the training uh, using uh, my uh, training kits donated by Zimmer Biomed and today we assembled the microscope um, and now it's being tested for use and you can see there's some residents behind me um, from maxillary surgery and also from plastic surgery. Uh, this will usher a whole new era of uh, reconstruction uh, in the Sudan. My name is Mr. Abdel Nasser Jafar Ahmed, the General Medical Executive of uh, Manager of Khartoum uh, Dental Hospitals. Uh, it gives me pleasure to address you today because you have a great ceremony and a great occasion. Uh, and this will be a landmark in our history in these hospitals because uh, today we are starting our operating microscopes that has been gifted by SAMA. Uh, those people who help us. Astonish, astonish us by their uh, by their uh, great jobs. Uh, also, my thanks go to Dr. Khaisal Musab uh, for his uh, helps uh, and his everything uh, for everything that he's doing for us uh, to make this dream to come to to, to to be an actual things in our hospitals. Uh, hello, my name is Lina Tai Saif and I'm a medical officer in oral maxillofacial surgery department here in Khartoum Dental Teaching Hospital. Uh, my career line uh, is going to be oral maxillofacial surgery soon, inshallah. Uh, I'm really happy and I'm really glad that I have this opportunity to get this training in microvascular surgery here in the hospital for the first time. Sizing is sizing a chip one assistant holding it open and the dilator in as an estimosis. Great limiting kill microvascular diamond. If the flap goes down, it's usually because of the vein. Usually venous. Uh, basal venous congestion. Uh, this is the first microvascular anastomosis course in Sudan. You can see in the background of me uh, about 15 or so candidates, uh, half from uh, maxillofacial surgery and half of them from plastic surgery. They're all participating. Um, I brought with me uh, an microanastomosis, microvascular anastomosis kits for training. These kits are made by Zimmer Biomet and I would like to thank Zimmer uh, Biomet for making this a reality. Um, and they sponsored the kits and also sponsored uh, travel of the team and this has been a reality through the Sudanese American Medical Association. Uh, this is a huge deal. It's a big step. Uh, this will launch a microvascular anastomosis uh, practice in the Sudan, which is severely lacking. This is used in free tissue transfer of uh, tissue for patients with cancer, head and neck cancer, breast cancer, lower extremity reconstruction. So the uses of this technique is essential to improve the quality of life, uh, prevent shame, and um, help uh, these poor patients.
My name is Mohammed Ahmed Tayyib. I'm a specialist in plastic, a junior specialist in plastic and reconstructive surgery here in Sudan, working in University Soba University Hospital. Uh, I'm attending today the first microvascular uh, course ever done here in Sudan. So I had a very vast opportunity to uh, in training in microvascular and stomosis and microvascular surgery. Uh, this is giving us a very good opportunity to train ourselves and to improve ourselves uh, so we can do whatever is needed in microvascular surgery, mainly in replantations and in doing free flaps or any type of microvascular surgery needed here. I would like to thank uh, the Sudanese American Medical Association uh, and the Zimmer Biomed for their, uh, for their support and for what they have done for us to make this possible and we thank you very much and it's going to be a beginning for a very good uh, progress series now.